Hello and welcome to this evening's edition of E-Prime. I am Daydran. The entertainment fraternity was sent into mourning after news broke online that veteran singer and vocalist Daddy Uroy died yesterday at age 78. Tributes flooded social media as musicians expressed sorrow at the death of a pioneering godfather of Jamaican music. Dancehall artist Shaggy remembers Uroy as a hero, a true legend in this game of dancehall and reggae with a catalog of amazing recordings. He also added that Uroy was a master at his craft. Now, dancehall acts Sean Paul and Spice also sent their condolences to the late reggae icon, with Sean Paul adding that, quote, R.I.P. Great One. Because because you did what you have done, people like myself can do what we do. I salute you to the full. Condolences to your family and friends and fans. We will continue to wake the town and tell the people in your honor." End quote. Uroy is one of Dancehall's most influential figures. His career started back in the 60s on sound systems and hit the charts in the early 70s as a toaster on popular hit songs like Were You to the Ball alongside John Holt and Tom Drunk with Holt and Lewis among others. What I got to musical key, rap it big nice that's coming, yeah. But I'm covered and tough and that ain't no blub, maybe because I've got my musical stuff. In 2007, the musical pioneer, whose real name is Ewart Beckford, was awarded the Order of Distinction by the Jamaican government for his contribution to the music. Epram sends condolences to the friends and family of Daddy Uroy during this time. Rest in peace. Now on the international scene, Lauren Hill's 1998 debut album, The Miseducation of Lauren Hill, has been certified diamond by the Recording Industry Association of America after selling over 10 million units. RIAA shared the news on Tuesday night as they welcomed Lauren Hill to the Diamond Selling Club. Now Hill joins an exclusive list of artists like Michael Jackson, Adele, Britney Spears and Eminem who have all gained a certified Diamond albums. This isn't the first time Hill's debut and only solo album have made history. The album debuted number one on the Billboard 200 and sold over 422,000 copies within the first week, breaking the previous record for first week sales by a female artist. The project also gained Lauryn Hill 10 Grammy nominations and five wins, which included Album of the Year, Best R&B Album, and Best Female R&B Vocal Performance. In 2015, Miss Education was also added to the Library of Congress National Recording Registry, cementing its status as culturally iconic. In a post on her social media account, Lauren Hill stated that it's pretty wonderful to know that this album continues to bring happiness to people. That's it for E-Prime this evening. I am Daydran. Thank you for watching.